This is a very rare sword. Um, this is a model 1860 U.S. Naval boarding cutlass made by the Ames Manufacturing Company. The reason that this is so rare is from the maker mark that's on the blade, which is ADK, which for, is for AD King. This is one of only 300 naval cutlasses that were purchased by the United States Army during the Civil War. There's scant research about this, um, why they bought the swords, uh, coastal artillery use maybe, but only 300 purchased. Okay, so that's very, very rare. There's only 300 of these made. We actually have one here that you can buy today. It's in overall original condition, showing a beautiful chocolate patina on the cup hilt, leather wrapped grip. Missing some of the grip here, I want to point out, but you have to understand that this was used during the Civil War. There's a beautiful, beautiful leather scabbard. Look at the rivets on the back of that scabbard. All original scabbard. This is called a frog. This is the frog, the carrying frog for the scabbard. You can see the tip is, has a little bit of loss there. Just want to point that out. But it's really all original condition. The blade, blade is in actually really nice shape for the age. It's marked Ames UDK right on the blade. Again, quite scarce, only 300 known, only 300 contracted. An example of this sword is listed in this book, Collector's Guide to Ames U.S. Contract Military Edge Weapons, 1832 to 1906. And on page 28, you can see the cutlass with the information that we told you about the limited availability of that, only 300. So we're gonna make a copy of this page for your reference when you buy the sword, and it's just really a rare opportunity to buy an Army-used naval cutlass that was used during the Civil War. All right, here we have item number M1013. That's a model 1860 U.S. Naval boarding cutlass by Ames, and that's just $3,495.